I remember one of the people from the community, they stopped to get strawberries and they asked me, why are you doing this? And I said, this is what I've been praying for. This is what the church has been praying for. We always pray for the community and we put action into what we pray for. It's a beautiful thing that you actually get to serve. You're, you're there for your community in their time of need. And it's like a bond almost that you're, you're bonding with them. Like this is as raw and real as it's, it's going to get. We're in a pandemic, but we're in this together. It's a beautiful thing to experience with them. We came to serve, not to be served. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I think our bond has gotten closer because we, we pray together and we're getting closer to God together. And I think that's what's made our relationship even more beautiful and just brought us together. It goes back to the church and it goes back to volunteering and it goes back to one thing, which is the love of God and the love of your community and the love of helping others and it's just all in one. Welcome everyone to Castlevia Christian Church at home. I hope you're enjoying this 4th of July weekend. I'm so excited that we get to do Sundays together. I invite you to chat and engage with us throughout the service. If you have a prayer request, please share it in the comment section or through Messenger. We want to pray for you. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and share this message with your world. I'm so excited to worship God and I hope you are too. I know that God has something special in store for us today. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and simply I come, longing just to bring something that's a word to bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself. Is not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way it appears You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you This is all about you I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it, and it's all about you. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm 
king of endless worth no one can express what you deserve though i'm weak and poor all i have is yours every single breath i'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you had required you search much deeper within through the way it appears you're looking into my heart i'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you yes it's all about you I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it, and it's all about you. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I I'll bring you more than a song. I'll bring you more than a song. Cause it's all about you, Jesus. I'll bring you more than a song. I'll bring you more than a song. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. I'll bring you more than a song. I'll bring you more than When the music fades, all is stripped away, and simply I come back to you, Jesus. Castle Hill Christian Church is hosting a free mobile pantry with the North Texas Food Bank on Thursday, July 9th, right in our parking lot. The food bank will be giving boxes of food from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It is first come, first serve, and you must be in a vehicle. No identification is necessary. See you on July 9th. Missional partners, thank you for your generous giving. Month after month, we continue to serve our community well. There is a fun opportunity for everyone to be involved. We have partnered with I Look Like Love to do a big diaper distribution, and we are collecting baby and toddler items uh, to include with each bag of diapers. We are collecting new baby thermometers, nail clippers, baby shampoo, lotion, baby pacifiers, and gender neutral onesies drop off day for these items is sunday july 12th from 4 to 6. please know that these items are going to precious families in our community who need them also here are three ways you can give to the mission of cassavy christian church through our church's website cassavychristian.com through mail and through the venmo app at casa hyphen view Good morning, everybody. I'm Pastor Jamie. I hope that you had a wonderful 4th of July celebration yesterday with family or friends. I hope that you had a moment of play and laughter and some rest, too. I hope that you experienced, even in small ways, some joy and some delight. Our scripture today is out of the book of Galatians. It's chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. So this is the time to get out your Bible or your Bible app so you can follow along and participate. So again, that is Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. And the scripture says this. It's, it's Paul's letter to the Galatians. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, Serve one another humbly in love, 
For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. This morning, I, I want to speak first to our call as followers of Jesus and, and secondly, to our hearts. In the book of Matthew, Jesus says that all of the law and the prophets rest on two commandments. So all of the Old Testament rests on these two commandments, and, and that's love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Our call as, as followers of Jesus boils down to these two very simple but not always easy things to do. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And our scripture today, Paul, he's the guy that wrote a lot of the New Testament, continues this really important teaching in his letter to the Galatians. He reminds this community of believers to serve one another humbly in love. And he tells them, for the entire law is fulfilled in the, the keeping of this one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. It all boils down to this. And then he goes on to say this line, and I think it's really powerful. He says, if you bite and devour each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. My five-year-old little girl and my eight-year-old boy tend to fight a lot, generally. They, they fight like cats and dogs. But, but the last few months, um, with the blessed family togetherness, which is how I guess we're supposed to talk about it, they fight even more like, like next level WWE fighting. And this is kind of how the cycle of fighting goes. They start fighting. They are biting and devouring each other. As, as Paul describes in the letter of, to the Galatians, I mean, are they actually biting each other? No, but they might as well be. And they're fighting over, I don't know, some toy. It's almost always something really small. As it escalates, Josh and I step in to try and help them work it out. And of course, they're blaming each other. It's, it's never their fault. It's always the other person's fault. And at this point, we tell them that if the fighting continues, both together as a unit will suffer the consequences. And then it won't matter who started it or who did what to who. And unfortunately... This doesn't stop. The fighting doesn't stop. The biting and devouring continues until we've had enough, until Josh and I have had it. And then they both are either sent to their rooms or they have important privileges taken away or that thing that we are, we're planning to do, they don't get to do. They're fighting. They're fighting not only hurts each other as... They bite and devour and tear each other down. It also takes them down as a unit. It takes them down together as siblings. And I think that this is what Paul means when he says, if you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. This has really powerful meaning for us. It has powerful meaning for the ways that we relate to each other in our relationships, in, in marriages, in, in our families, in, in our communities, and certainly in our country too. Yesterday we celebrated the 4th of July, Independence Day. As a country, we did things like light off fireworks and eat delicious food off the grill and listen to the sounds of kids playing and laughing we missed the parades because of the pandemic, but, but nonetheless, a celebration of sorts occurred. And we celebrated because this country is our home, and we are grateful for her. It is, it is no hidden secret that there is a deep division in our country, in our house, if you will, among our people, and it, it's heartbreaking. We, we divide ourselves over so many things, and some days when you listen to the news, it feels like we divide ourselves over literally, literally everything. Over the years, that divide has only gotten wider, deeper, harder and harder to bridge. We tend 
to bite and devour the other side of whatever, whatever issue we are divided over. But God, God has a different way. And this way leads to life instead of destruction. Jesus instructs his disciples, and then Paul instructs the people of Galatia. These words, these words are so timely for us. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Certainly the way forward for our relationships, for our marriages, for our families, for our communities, and also for our country, our beautiful home hangs on this. Love your neighbor as yourself. As followers of Jesus, we, we lead the way on this. This is absolutely ours to lead. Love the family across the street that is a different ethnicity or from a different culture than you as yourself. Love your coworker with different beliefs than you as yourself. Love your Republican neighbor as yourself. Love your Democrat neighbor as yourself love your neighbors on social media i know you can't see them but they're there love your neighbors on social media as yourself love your neighbors as yourself love people as yourself even even the people really hard to love and even the people you don't understand love them anyways healing and restoration and new life happens when we can see each other when we can love each other, we can, when we can have our hearts positioned toward one another the way that God loves and has God's heart positioned towards us. Amen. Now, I, I really want to speak directly to your heart because the last few months have been a lot. I have not met anybody in the last three months that has been completely okay. With everything that has happened in our country and in our world and with the ways those things have impacted each of you in, in different ways, our hearts are even more in need of peace and rest and comfort. So I'd like to offer you the words from Psalm 23, verses 1 through th 3. And they say this, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Whatever state your heart is in today, whatever state your soul is in today, whatever state your body is in today, in Psalm 23, King David reminds us that the Lord is the peace that we seek in the midst of the chaos. The Lord is the comfort we seek in the midst of the pain. The Lord is the quiet we seek in the midst of the noise. The Lord is the rest that we seek in the midst of impossible expectations. God's presence is our quiet waters. God's presence is our quiet waters waters. God doesn't always lead us to quiet circumstances. We, uh, we are not in them right now. Our circumstances are not quiet. But God does and can quiet our souls and calm our hearts in the midst of very loud and chaotic and confusing and painful circumstances. God is, is our raincoat in the midst of the storm. If your circumstances are really loud right now, if your body is so tired you're not sure how you're going to get up and take another step, if your mind is racing so much that you can't sleep at night, I invite you right now to, 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 to just pray with me. I'm going to pray um, a prayer centered on Psalm 23. 
Let's go to God and find some rest. Lord, you, you are our shepherd. And because you are our shepherd, there is nothing else in this world that we need. Relationship with you and connection with you and your provision is what we need. Lord, when we, when we can't figure out how to stop and how to rest in the midst of the madness, you are the one that makes us lie down in green pastures. You are the one that, that creates pathways for rest. Lord, you, you lead us. You are the one that lead us beside quiet waters when everything around us is not quiet. When it's loud and confusing. Lord, you are the one that renews our souls when we are lost, when we are empty, and when we have nothing else to give. So, Lord, we pray that you would renew us. that you would give us what we need to take one more step tomorrow. And we pray, Lord, that you would fill us with your courage to love our neighbors as ourselves, to see people around us the way that you see them. We pray this through the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of the sin. Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was paid for through the precious blood of Jesus Christ Leave behind your regrets and mistakes Come today there's no reason to wait Jesus is calling Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy From the ashes a new life is born, Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was paid for with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide Forgiveness was paid for With the precious blood of Jesus Christ Oh, what a Savior Isn't He wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Oh, what a 
Savior, isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. behind your regrets and mistakes come today there's no reason to wait Jesus is calling I hope you were empowered and encouraged with today's message you're invited to connect and worship with us every Sunday at 10 a.m. make sure to like our Facebook page subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram so you can stay up to date with what's happening at Cassidy Christian Church if you don't have a church home we would love for you to get connected to Cassidy Christian Church to learn more about the mission and ministry please text to join CVCC to 59769 or you can email us here, there is a place here for you.